Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I'm not actually going shopping today. I've had a delivery in. I was talking about having a delivery in my last vlog, actually. I prefer to film for you in the supermarket themselves, so I've just decided to slot this haul in as a little extra midweek. So this delivery has come from Asda, and as you can see, there's a lot of heavy things there, and that's the whole point of this particular shop, actually. There's not a lot, but what there is weighs a ton, and basically it's so I can spend my time in shop buying lighter things and not having to carry so much home. I've got plenty of storage room down in my cellar so this arrangement works well for me. As you know I like my tea and coffee so I've got lots and lots of long life milk in to stock up with. So these are 50 pence each, these are the Asda's own unsweetened soya drink. They are 50 pence each so for a grand total of four pounds I've got eight of those. Now these are a substitution, what I meant by was the sweetened soya milk so I put the unsweetened in tea sweetened in coffee because I prefer it that way. Originally it was because it would curdle, the other one would curdle, but I think nowadays the modern soy milks are much better for that than they were. But anyway, I've got habits now and I've got tastes and I like my coffee slightly sweeter. So I know I should probably just put sugar in, <laughs> but I don't, I get this. So anyway, these are £1.25 each. I was going to get eight and I did pay £10 but I've had a few substitutions. Mm, only one was substituted for sweetened, so I've ended up with one, two, three, four, five unsweetened as uh, substitutes. So that's a bit of a pain in the bum, but they will get used. It just means I've got to go again to the shop sooner to get sweetened when that runs out. It's fine, I don't mind. So anyway, uh, I absolutely love goat's milk and coffee. I don't have it very often. I don't know why, because I really, really love it, but this is actually a substitute because I accidentally ordered the full fat and I meant really to order semi-skimmed anyway, so I'm quite glad they substituted it. It was £1.80 for this, so that is one litre that needs to go in the fridge. Also, now, I am a pescatarian. I feel like a crap record saying this, but I feel like it's important sometimes to give a bit of home context, and you might be watching this for the first time. Anyway, I eat a lot of pulses recently. My daughter's been home from uni for quite a while. She's gone back now, but I've got out of the habit of cooking as many pulses as I would normally cook, because she's not keen on them, so now I'm looking forward to getting back to my normal eating habits again. Again. So in the way of pulses, I've bought the ridiculously cheap red kidney beans. These are the Just Essentials by Asda, and honestly, they're such good value. They're 33 pence a tin. I bought six, so that came to £1.98. And honestly, there's so much protein and fibre goodness in there. Like, if you think about how cheap that is compared to eating meat or some of the fake meats or some tofu or something like that, it's just such good value. So good for you. Really good way to save money to bulk your meals up with that. And you know you're getting something healthy. Chickpeas are a little bit dearer, 45p a can. But again, they're the Just Essentials range by Asda. I bought four tins, which came to £1.80 in total. I also absolutely love the peeled plum tomato. So sometimes I get the chopped tomatoes. I think the peeled plum whole ones taste better. And one of my viewers wrote in a comment the other day, thank you very much if that was you, that she prefers to buy the peeled plum tomatoes because she finds it easier to remove the stalky bits. She just chops them off and then chops them up and puts them in the pan. Whereas the chopped ones, sometimes they can be kind of mixed in with it. <laughs> so that's, that's a good point that is. And I also just think they're tastier. So these are only 35 pence a tin and I got 10. So that was £3.50 and that'll keep me going for ages. And honestly, once I got those in the cupboard and some pasta and these, you know, I just know that I can throw a meal together, even if it's very simple. Similarly, passata as well. I've got really into passata since I was in Portugal and ended up buying some because I thought it was a bit cheaper than the tin tomatoes out there. And I just love it now. I'm just putting it in all sorts of things, just a little drop to flavour it. Those are 60 pence. Those are the Asda's own passatas. I bought four of those. That came to £2.40 in total. Got more pulses here, 49 pence. Slightly dearer. These are not the Just Essentials range. They're just the Asda's own. Butter beans in water, 49 pence each. Got two cans and that's of course that came to 98 pence. I haven't got a lot of fresh. <laughs> I really haven't. These are the only two fresh items. Oh, and the goat's milk, of course. 95 pence for mushrooms. I always get them and I like these big guns because they're just so easy to prepare and quick to, you know, chop up and chuck in a pan. No fiddling around. And also um, some ginger because I was completely out 65p. Last of all, I've got pop and I've got three big like crates. I don't know what you want to call it. There's 24 cans in each. So I've got Cherry Pepsi Max, Fanta Orange Zero and Coke Zero with zero caffeine as well. So they would have been £10 something. So for example, these would have been 10 50 The Coke would have been 10 25 and that would have been a similar amount. I've forgotten to write it on that one, but you get the but for all three there was a multi buy offer so that came to £24 for all three so there was a bit of a saving there and that works out as 33 pence per can which is about as much as I like to pay for a can of pop I've got to be honest. My next shop in person is going to be a bit 
more fun and light-hearted I think because I won't be worrying about carrying big things home so anyway a lot of these things are going in my cellar to be stored and they'll just come up gradually as I run low on them so yeah I feel glad that I've done that you're probably wondering how much that all came to well that came to 55 pounds and 60 pence I paid three pound fifty for delivery so that was included in that and my saving was because of the cans of pop and that was seven pounds so it would have been 59 pounds 10 if I hadn't made that saving. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. The next one you see from me will be filmed in a actual shop. Back to normal services again. Here's some more videos from me in case you'd like to watch some more and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!